There are some very exciting, especially two very exciting features we definitely have to talk about, and that's why we are talking about them a bit more in detail. ASUS introduced the dynamic OC switcher, which allowed to keep both. You were having a very high single core boost, and at the same time, you could do multi core overclocking. And the same thing will come to the X670 boards and to the entire lineup, which is great. There is one more feature, it's the Ryzen Core Flex. And that is something more for the enthusiasts. If you think that the Dynamic OC switcher is cool, I can tell you this is even cooler because it gives you free algorithms you can program yourself. Basically, you have some input values you can set. You can set different levels, different thresholds. Just want to give you one example. So you define two levels. In the state one, your CPU stays below 70 degrees Celsius, for example, and you allow your CPU the full power draw. And then you have an AIO, maybe a 240 AIO, and at a certain point, it reaches saturation of the cooling. And once it exceeds a certain temperature, then you can tell the CPU, A, maybe consume a little bit less power. And you can do this for different stages. You can set the, uh, the temperature, you can set different fre uh, frequencies, different voltage, uh, current, you can even set B clock. So there are a lot of things you can do to tune your AMD Ryzen CPU to the max. And I can tell you that's going to be really exciting and a huge step forward also in performance. So I'm very looking forward to see this in action.